What's happening, good people? Today we are working on a volley tip. I love this. It's a tactic that we use quite a bit through collegiate play, um, but but never really had a name. And recently, I saw Jamie Murray refer to it as the do nothing volley. Also, Martina Navratilova uh, refers to it as a newt volley. Her work with fuzzy yellow balls, she she explains this particular tactic as well. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It's terrific. But let's jump into what we're talking about. So the do, to do, the do nothing volley is exactly as it sounds. It's about just keeping your racket out in front and doing nothing else. And the reason this is important, especially at the recreational level, is a lot of times we feel like we really got to zing a volley, right? I've got cones down. This is representing the player at the back court hitting ground strokes, and then the player over here, that would be defending the middle of the court. Now I have this cone moved up just a little bit because at high level play, if the ball's, being move, if the ball's moving particularly fast, most of the time they're not gonna have the ability to get all the way up to the net and then all the way back to the service line. So this is typically the spacing that we see. But too often when we get a volley in this particular position, we like to call it the predator position because I'm looking to be aggressive. Any volley that I get here, I'm immediately trying to sting that, that particular person, right? But that entails me taking a big swing, whatever. I, I think that's the way it may be translated. But a better play is to eliminate this, the, the, the swing at all and to do nothing. The reason being is the person at the baseline, if they're hitting the ball to you, they're mo most of the time they're attacking you. So they're hitting with considerable pace. So as the ball comes and it rebounds, it's going to come off relatively neutral. So you might be asking, well, if the, if the ball is just coming off without anything on it, why is that advantageous? Well, the ball is gonna stay low. The ball is gonna stay short and it's gonna stay low. And what that does is it puts your opponents in a precarious situation. You gotta remember, your opponent closest to you is on defense. So they're waiting to hit a reflex volley. So a lot of time their weight is going to be back and if you get the ball just slightly past them, you're not gonna have, they're not gonna have the ability to move to go get it. So it takes them out of the play. Or if you hit it soft enough as they're moving forward, they're kind of stuck in this like pickleball play of like trying to play short angles, but that plays into your hands as well. Now, what about the person back behind you? If you hit it too short, right? You might be thinking, well, aren't they just gonna rip the next forehand at you? Not if they keep the ball, if you keep the ball low, right? Also keep this in mind. If I'm back at the baseline and I've just attacked you with the big forehand, right? I've got to finish my swing and recover. And most of the time, by the time that ball has hit the volleyer's racket and just fallen over, they then have to set back up into a coil and move, right? They essentially have to put their shoes on in the car. If you haven't seen a video where I reference that, check it out, all right? But what I'm talking about is that they have to get the racket prepped while they're moving. Okay, and that's also very, very tough to do. So as Jamie Murray said, do nothing, right? Don't worry about taking a big swing or anything else. As the ball is being hit really hard at you, simply get your racket on it, stay stable, and focus on neutralizing that ball, leaving it softly touched and leaving the ball with very little bounce, putting both of the players in a defensive position, trying to dig it out. Most of the time what's gonna happen is assuming your partner has moved in with you because you've hit the volley, you're both, one of you are going to get an easy put away on the next volley. So just remember when you get a volley, don't always feel like you have to like make a phenomenal play that, you know, I've got to lead with the edge. I've got to get her my outside foot. You know, I've got to really get some kind of sw swing mechanism to sing it. Do less to get more. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Check out Jamie Murray's YouTube channel. It's super cool. Um, I, I have a feeling he may have done it, started it when he was, uh, you know, through, through the pandemic and whatnot. It doesn't seem like it's been updated, but there's still some really cool tips on it. I saw him in an interview reference this, and I thought I would share it with you guys. Hope it helped a ton. I'll see you next time. Bye.